Where's that treasure? What's up everybody, it's the Pirate Stacker. I am at Jim's Coins here at the Daytona Flea Market and I feel embarrassed because I've never been here before and this place has it going on. Jim in the background there. I've gotta show you some stuff because he's got things I've been looking for. Again, we are at Jim's Coins. Get that to zoom in. Daytona Flea Market, let's take a look. So I'm gonna work my way around into his shop. He's in the E2 shops is what they're called. And it's air conditioned in here, which is real nice. And we're gonna start on the outside, but he has got some incredible stuff on the inside. And you guys are gonna love this. Let's get in there. Now he's got loads of proof sets, mint sets, all kinds of stuff here. And he's also got the albums, which is really cool because we just don't see that a lot. But look at that, the type set, really cool. And he's got books that already have coins in them, which is really awesome if you're trying to build a set jump up here into this he's got some affordable stuff for the budget conscious collector which is definitely me man look at that that is awesome whole set right there we're gonna keep it moving here because he's got a couple of things like currency look at all this currency if you're a collector of currencies he has got you covered. Again, that's Jim's coins, but let me circle back. You know I've been looking for a seated Liberty and Pirate went and spent a bunch of money already that he didn't have. And now I find the $1 seated Liberties. These are screaming. These are beautiful condition. Uh, if you guys are in the market for these, you need to hit up Jim's coins. Do you ship? You try not to. I try not to. We try not to. So you better get down here, you guys. And uh, again, he's at the Daytona flea market. He's got old currency too. How long have you been in the coin business? I've been in this building for two years, but I've been doing this since 2000 as a collector. And then 2000. Now, yeah. And you just started off loving collecting and it grew to this. Oh, as a kid, I used to, you know, get Morgan's for singing a song with the family. So that's how I got me started when I was 10. But, uh, I gave it up for a while and then I got back into it in 2000. Your shop is fantastic. So easily the biggest coin store with the most volume here at the Daytona flea market. And uh, of course he's got a great assortment, but I haven't even shown you the best stuff yet. And look at that. We got our seated collections here. Really cool. If you're trying to build your type set, he's got different types. We're gonna skip over to this side. We got slabs too. This is a whole mess of quarters. Very cool. Very cool. Some random foreign currency. Again, budget conscious. What's awesome about this place is you don't gotta be rich to start collecting. And he's got the books here as well, which I've actually been looking for for a minute. Very cool. He's got a whole set of Chinese pandas over there. We got Morgan sitting in the slab. That is a very cool set. And here we got books with Morgans and Peace Dollars. Great pricing. All different levels for your collection. Here we got some nice big collector pieces from the US Mint. Let's get get a spot on that tray of Morgans down there. Very cool. And you know, I've been chasing Morgans as well here, so it's really neat getting to see all these. But that's not all. You don't got to buy them in the slab, although he's got plenty to choose from. He's got a whole bunch here in the flips. And we're gonna go nice and slow. If you see a date you need, you can come on down and get it. Okay. 
beautiful, beautiful coins. And again, these there's four coin shops here at the Daytona Flea Market. It's not just gems. There's Rich the coin guy down there. We've got DJ and his collectibles. And then there's another place. They got coins and gold and stuff too. So you can come down here and you can make the rounds. It's not, it's a one-stop shop. If one doesn't have it, the others probably do. But I'll tell you what, this collection is impressive. What an inventory. And that's not all. He does have bullion over here, so you can get your silver fix. What are you selling silver bullion for, Jim? Right now, 25. 25 bucks an ounce. Fantastic price on silver bullion. And what are your American Silver Eagles? 32. People, 32 on ASEs. Fantastic. People love that stuff. We got some awesome bars, 10 ounce bars, smoking. Look at this, look at this. Slabs. Oh, look at that. He's also got the 2022s. He's got proof eagles. All kinds of U.S. Mint stuff right here. Very cool. Love that eagle on it right there. 2021. Coming down here, we got slabbed ASEs. Make that collection pop. More currency. So much stuff, Jim. You've been you've been collecting for a minute, I can tell. Very cool, very cool. All right, not to put you on the spot at all. Gold and silver, is it going to go up or down in the immediate future? Keep telling me it's going up. Last week they told me it's gonna take off in a week. Unfortunately, it took off down a little bit. So I'm hoping it comes back. It's, it's uh, Who knows, right? Who takes, knows? It takes off, I have a lot to sell. I mean, uh, in, in theory, a depressed economy, gold and silver goes up. In theory. Yeah. But obviously we know the markets are manipulated heavily. We see the dollar super high. There is things afoot. Very cool. Hey, thanks for letting me take a look around here. Oh, look at this. Holy smokes. Look at that. Books full of coins. More, more, more. Seriously, if you're trying to put a collection together, this has got to be the place to go because he really does have it all. Wow. Super cool. And he even has books still. Neat stuff. All right, so that was tons of fun. Again, that's Jim's Coins here at the Daytona Flea Market. He is in the E2 section, nice and air conditioned. Check him out. Thanks for watching. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>